What's going on YouTube? Today I'll be doing a CCV mod or bypass on my 7396. Do keep in mind this is a work truck. This is not a daily driver. Um, so I done a quick one with the stuff I just had laying around the house. Basically what I done is removed my intake. You just need a flathead screwdriver. Um, there's two bolts on here right behind here 10 millimeter remove that once you remove that there was a nipple in here that stood about uh, about an inch inch and a half tall it was from the it was original for the bypass stuff to go in and then it gets sucked into the turbo what it is there's only one screw Phillips screw holding it it pops out what I then did is found a little aluminum plug that I had laying around the shop I used some adhesive, but that didn't work good. I let it dry overnight. It didn't work good. I had to clean it off. And I ended up just using crazy glue on this aluminum plug. Um, and now it's good. I still have to clean it up a little bit. But you do want to plug up that hole. See, that's the adhesive I used. I got to clean that off. That didn't stick too well. I'm going to clean all this off. Clean the rest of the adhesive off. But you want to plug that up. And basically, without the bypass, what it's doing is sucking all that gunk into the turbo. All that oil bypass crap is going right into the turbo. So I'm going to end up removing this silicone hose here, getting a rag, cleaning it all out really good. Now for the bypass, uh, three quarters hose, clamp, zip tie, two feet of hose, and it's going to drain right by my steering box. Like I said, it's a work truck. I'm not really too concerned where it drains. Um, another thing, I've seen a lot of videos before I did do this mod, and I was just amazed how people come up with some crazy shit. I mean, i seen some guy actually plumb from this point with PVC piping, gray outdoor, down all the way back to the back axle to have it drain. That's... To me, that's insane. But you know what? Somebody may look at my video and call me a redneck, whatever. You know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. But I done this for free. I didn't have to spend a penny. This was just laying around my shop. Um, you know, if this was a daily driver, I might have spent a little bit of money and made it look nicer. But I'm not worried about it. It is what it is. This truck is only used once in a while. So uh, that's about it. Basically, uh, it's, it's a no-brainer. All you have to do is those couple steps and you'll have a bypass. Thank you for watching.